Good morning, YouTube. Well, almost afternoon now. 18 minutes till. Yeah. We kind of slept in a little bit. Well, not really slept. I'll say the kiddo gets up early with me. this one because she's afraid of the dark to walk to the bus. And a lot of times, whenever they're up, obviously the, the dogs will start barking and, and just starts waking everybody up. And then we, we try to go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. So I know. Still I, tired. I, I was probably able to fall asleep a, a little bit, you know, here and there, but I, I was basically up since the time that they, they had left for school. And then you said you woke up. But several times throughout the night. Yeah. So if you're lucky. I woke yeah. up several times because of the hail. And I know the little one doesn't like uh, loud thunder slash hail noises. No. So I had to go and check up on her and make sure she was okay. She asked me to cover her window. Yeah. Because she didn't want to see it. She doesn't want to see the flash of the lightning, which it, it's come down pretty good. We actually quite a bit of rain came through. I know our, our creek is flowing really well. I haven't looked at the bridge um, to see how well that was going, but I know over by the, the concrete culverts, it's flowing pretty good. And on our way out of the property and on the road, the concrete bridge yeah. and that was overflowing over the bridge a bit. Yeah that that one as long as the water is still you can see the concrete on one side it's it's still fairly safe to drive over but the moment that the water is covering the entire bridge you, you might as well go around the back way because it's at that point it's really not safe to be driving through. And uh we don't we don't want to uh, pull a mic over a DD5. <laughs> With uh, flooding out our vehicle. Nope, I don't want to do that. I mean I can. Yeah. But do I want to? Uh, no. 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 I don't feel like trying out washing these carpets. Yeah, plus we don't we don't have a snorkel on a Jeep, so I know the Jeeps can go but a little bit deeper water than what most vehicles do, but whenever it's flowing water, it, it's just like any other vehicle. It can be swept away just like anything else. Yeah. So I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, the, the cold is here. It was nice. Last night, it was warm. <laughs> Yesterday, it got into the 60s. It was warm. Yeah. And even at 7 o'clock, it was still a little warm. Yeah, it, it stayed into the 50s all, all the way up until yeah, you know, fa fairly late. Yeah. 8 o'clock is when it was really starting to get cold. Yeah, once, once the sun came up, then it basically, that, that's when the coldness started setting in. Yeah. And we've, we've seen a little bit of flurries here and there. Yeah, the Jeep started, it's reading at 26 degrees outside. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, we are going to go to the co-op. So you probably could have even taken the back road. I could have and I didn't. Or if you want to go to the other store first, you Which said you one? wanted to get a tarp. Oh yeah, to yeah, we'll go through. Yeah. yeah uh, apparently the the roof on the shed room is leaking a little bit, but no, like a it's, couple of drops, so it's fine. I, I think it'd be fine without the tarp if it's just a, a couple of drip. Obviously, if it's it pouring was, down rain inside, then. It's, yeah, it was the hill. The hill was the one that did it. Yeah, because we don't, obviously, we don't have the funding yet to get the the roof for that. Hopefully, green light. I see the green light. Um, hopefully, after the uh, the tax season, we'll be able to get a roof. Because um, we, what is it, 10, 10 bundles Something of like shingles? That. So, if we're doing just the, the regular shingles... Um, which could always look too into just what 
uh, the cheaper metal panels would be. Well, that's what he said he, would, he wanted. He yeah. Wanted some metal panels on his home. He wants. Oh yeah, for all the homes, we're doing metal roofs, but for for this, we're just trying to look at what what is the cheapest option for right now to be able to get a a, a nice stable roof up there without having to cover it with tarps. Um, that, that's what we're looking at for now. Anything is better than tarps. And uh, yeah, any, anything is better than tarps. So uh, that's one of the things that's on our bucket list uh, sooner than later is a new roof for the shed room. And then yeah. we're getting the, the supplies needed for the dogs outside because after and you're just driving all through this parking lot. Okay, leave me alone. Because <laughs> um, once this uh, cold comes in, starting tonight, going in tomorrow, we're going to be getting into the single digits, if not the negatives. Yeah. And the dogs, they they do fine with the the homes that they have right now, with you know the cedar chips and and, all their and stuff like that that we've gotten from uh, the dog man Mike. Um. He, he was able to get them a, some of those cedar chips for his home. Um, which was amazing. Which we, we definitely thank you for that. But they, they've already spread that fairly thin. So yeah. now we're, we're going to go ahead and, and grab a few bells of straw and get that thrown in. Yeah. Because uh, one of the dog houses too is insulated. Uh, Somewhat insulated. Um, it's just a bottom that needs to be fixed. Yeah. So the yeah the other other doghouse. The know, dog house I made was is, is pretty sturdy. The yeah. other dog house that was given to us, um, it's an older dog house, so it need, it just needs a little bit of TLC on it, just to bring it right back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, once it gets a new floor, it'll be good to go. Yep. It is. Oh, it is solid. Yeah. It is a solid house. It it's just been well lived in, and it just needs a new floor. That's all. <laughs> Yep, most definitely. It was owned by an awesome dog. Yeah. That is long gone now. And uh, and we can even put it up, you know, because we have some of the. We're gonna keep the name though. The little uh, blocks or whatnot that we can set it on to get it up off the ground. Yes. Um, that way the the new floor doesn't get rotted out either. Because mm -hmm. uh, we we'd already done that with the one that she made for. Yeah, it Alilu. has. Um, it, it has runners on the bottom. Runners on the bottom. Yeah. Which is the ground contact, pressure treated lumber. Um, yep. Just to be able to get that one up off the ground, so that one was good to go. Yeah, it's got some bougie walls in there. That dad brought yeah. that sheet. It was like a, a thick sheet. What was it half an inch or something? Yeah, it's like the floor decking stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. All so that right. yeah, that one stays nice and uh, toasty for her. For the little, yep. But right now we got to get stuff for the puppies. Make sure that they're they're good to go. Yeah. And. Uh, Glad it's getting a, a good taste of the cold oh. of what it's going to be once she gets her chickens. My chickens are going to live. And all this she other, <laughs> all this other stuff. Um, hopefully that that will be coming this year, along with a, a few other animals. Yes. But yes. But we already we already know now that you know going through because we obviously we were here last winter. We already kind of seen what what that was about. And then now this winter, being in an RV, it's it's a little different. Hey, and it seems to do a lot of difference when you yeah. put the wrap around it on the bottom deck. Yeah, so that uh, video is coming out today, yeah. which if that will more likely post before this video, uh, depending. And yes. go check that out. So yes, I was able to get. It's just a, a windbreak. Um, it's not insulated or anything. It's just a windbreak in it. I've it's no, working. I've noticed the difference. It is. I've noticed the difference too. Yeah. It, it it doesn't lose as much heat yeah. super fast. Yeah. I mean, the floors are it still cold to the touch, but... But it's maintaining yeah. it and the heaters keep up with it. Yeah. So, it's it's doing, doing, it's job. doing its job. I but, like it. Well, are you ready to get into the store? Yes, I am. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into the store, uh, get the things we need, and then we're going to head over and get the straw for the dogs and then head back to the house. Yes. So, without further ado, always think of veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Stay warm. Later, y'all. Bye.